Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CBL. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. If you're not sure what I mean by 30 minute, I do offer an explanation video at that link. So if you go there, I'll explain in detail. Did this analysis a few days ago, so that is where the red and green line annotations are coming from, and the price has continued to work its way upward. So a couple updates I want to do here. Just get when to get rid of that line there. Sure, that level still pertains, just not relevant. And from a presentation standpoint, I don't want to risk causing clutter and confusion going forward. And I'm also going to adjust this level down here because really this is going to be the, the newest area of support right there at a dollar. And this is all just based on a foundational rule in charting that when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you want to see the MACD as support. So a dollar is going to be that overarching level of support. But the preferable area, meaning if you say, hey, Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute best going forward? That would be if the price can maintain above this trend line here, which has been doing a fantastic job up. So ever since bottoming out right here, the price has been drifting quote unquote, trending upwards very, very nicely since then. Now, don't get me wrong. If the price falls to the downside of that trend line, is that the end of the world? No, that's why I want to start off by talking about this level right there because the price could still come down there, find some support and everything You know, is still okay at that point. Well, wouldn't it be okay is if the price first off breaks down through that line, then gets down here and breaks down through that and continues on down. Why would that be so bad? Well, I mean, think about where that would be putting the price. From a very literal perspective, that would literally be putting the price right back to where it was at its lows and not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where they were, not exactly a sign of true power, true strength or anything like that. But if the price can at least stay above a dollar, that would be a, a very big step in the right direction. Now, as far as levels of resistance are concerned, it's all about that purple line there, the 50 period moving average. You can see that several occasions today. I mean, it's almost like this, this line here is pressing down the price. So keep a close eye on that. If the price can though get a good high volume break, of that purple line, then the next key battleground to watch would be right up there around $1.20. But overall, a nice little bounce here, and now it's just a question of can this continue to, to trend higher? Let's see how it closes out the week on Friday. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.